I have to confess that during BBS I have the best seat in the house, literally. The single most comfortable seat in the entire church building is the red leather one that Dale's in right now. It has great casters, it spins really fast, even though I would never have done that, that'd be immature, and uh, very well padded. And uh, But it's not just the best seat because of that, it's the best seat because I got to watch between 25 and 28 kids bounce and, and, and just sort of play right here, just sort of, they were just a bit restrained this morning. I don't know what it is. They get in front of you all and then they act all shy. They, they were not shy this week. They were roaring like lions in a very definitive way. And uh, I, as I watched that, I thought of the joy that we see here and, and how when you read through the Bible, there is joy again and again and again. In the Psalms, it talk, the joy comes up all the time. In the Psalms, make a joyful noise to the Lord. We read uh, just now, Jesus, he is. this is near the end of his ministry. He's summing it all up for his disciples. He's saying, you know, follow me, do my commandments, and I have come so that your joy may be complete. And I just want to lift that up to you this day because it has been a joyful week with your children and grandchildren. So often, we as Christians, as followers of Jesus, we, we can be uh, buzzkills. Jesus did not come so that you might be depressed and depressing and also very serious. Jesus said that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. And so it is my hope this week that we have helped uh, your children build a life uh, of joy, of following Jesus. And, and for those of us who have not been to VBS in a few years or, or maybe even a few decades, I, I think it's a, a good week to remember that uh, following Jesus, we are meant for joy. Amen. We now come